Davy was born on my birthday at 7 pounds, 12 and a half ounces, 20 inches long. His dad gave him the name Little Guy, and for years we called him Baby Davy. For the first six months of his life, we didn't realize anything was wrong, but we did notice that it was very difficult to hold him, and the only person who could actually get him to be comfortable was his dad, and oftentimes his brother. He was a happy baby, even when he had chicken pox. When we realized that something was wrong, we started seeing several specialists, and no one had a clue what was wrong with baby Davy. At one point, a specialist um, wanted us to put him through a month-long series of tests that would have been quite painful for him, and we had to say no. A few days after taking these pictures, my husband noticed that he started biting his lips, and we thought it was just regular teething until we started seeing some blood. The typical time for when a Leshlian child starts biting is around two years, and Davy was early, at 17 months. I could tell that he was scared and didn't understand why he was hurting. We took turns holding down his chin so he couldn't bite, and later on we started putting band-aids under his chin to try to keep his lips away from his teeth. And that only worked until the drool came down and wet the band-aid enough for it to fall off. The symptoms of Leshlian syndrome, impaired kidney function, uric acid crystals in diaper, gouty arthritis, speech articulation, involuntary muscle movements, dystonia, hypotonia, and spasms. We deal with a lot of hitting and kicking. When Davy was four, we were at a supermarket and he reached out his hand and grabbed a woman's bottom in the aisle. And I don't know if she believed me when I told her that um, he couldn't control it. Behavioral issues, anxiety. There is some neurological impairment, but overall they are very smart children and their cognitive abilities are just like any other average child. Now the following is the worst part of Leshlian, which is self-injury, and I won't read these aloud. For Davy, we have to be very careful what we say around him and not to mention any of these actions because it's a trigger for him to start doing it. And so I want to be silent so that in case your children are there with you as you watch this so that they won't um, hear it. Here is the anti-microstomia device. We were told that it was initially made for burn victims so that their teeth do not touch the um, sides of their cheeks while they're healing. It adjusts for a snug fit. The metal bar is curved perfectly so Davy's teeth never made contact with the bar, and the smooth plastic stirrups wedge along the sides of the mouth and stays put. I tried this on myself and I could not bite down on my lips. I know it looks very hard and uncomfortable, but it really isn't. Because our family found other options to deal with his biting, we chose not to do teeth removal. And here is a wonderful resource that we did not have when Davy was little. It's the Facebook page for Les Lion Syndrome. As soon as Davy started using the AMD, he got noticeably calmer and happier, and he didn't fear um, biting his lips. The downside is that there was a lot more drool, but that was not a very big issue. And at that time, he wasn't very um, good with his hands, and so he did not realize that he could reach up in there and pull it out. So when he's little, it was okay to use. The AMD saved my boy from a lot of pain and our family from a lot of heartache. Head and neck strength. As a baby and a toddler, Davy was very low tone and more hypotonic than spastic. The behavioral aspect, the anxiety and emotional distress, was notably more extreme than a typical child. As you can see, his father held him and carried him everywhere. 
But when he was about a year and a half, we realized that he was getting a bit heavy, and so we tried putting him in a stroller, and he screamed for a whole hour straight. Of course, we didn't know he had Leshnayan at that time, so we didn't understand the uh, level of anxiety that he experienced. Because we knew we had a trip coming up, I decided to get a stroller that was more snug around his body and made a little bit of um, adjustments to it in hopes that he could handle that. Because a trip around Minneapolis was going to be quite extensive and I couldn't let my husband carry him everywhere. Which you can see in this photo that he's grinning at me because he got his daddy. Once we got to the zoo and the botanical gardens, I knew that my husband would be tired enough for us to use a stroller, so we decided to put Davey in and we're just waiting for him to scream and we realized that he actually didn't mind it. Knowing what I know now about Lash Lihan, it was because it was like a little cocoon for him. However, an hour later I looked back and this is what I saw. It was extremely difficult for Davey to get used to anything new. And the next challenge was the airplane. After Minneapolis, our family was headed to Florida where my husband had his conference. Davy was scared, then excited, then scared, and luckily he started to fall asleep. Thank God. Unfortunately, we lost one of his AMD devices while going through the scanner. They were so hard to get and we only had two. I mean, luckily we still had one left, so our vacation was saved still. I believe the doctor told us that they were like $250 a piece. Because it was too hot during the day to do anything, we just waited at the hotel while my husband was attending his conference. And in the evening, we all went out and just did sightseeing around the city. Next stop, the ocean. Are we going to the ocean? Where, show me what the ocean looks like. What kind of animal is that on the right? Uh, wild pheasant, turkey? Pheasant. Oh, turkey. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, Are you a wild turkey? Then it kind of looks like the one at our house, except what? I think the one at our house was either fatter or taller or something. It looked bigger than the one at our house. Really? Hey, yeah. baby. Show me what the ocean looks like. Oh, is it big? Is it blue? Yeah. On the way back to the big west, blue bag. We'll have oh. The ocean is the big. Are hey, you recording us? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna talk. Yeah. <laughs> I see the far ocean there. The ocean. You point again? Where? Wait. Where did you see it? Okay. Over there. There. Go. 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 Here we go. Okay. Now we're on North Riverside. Uh, it's not that long. Davy had high anxiety whenever we got in the car, whenever we got out of the car, whenever the car stopped, whenever the car went. And so we started teaching him to see a green light and say go, see a stop sign or a red light and say stop. And that helped him a lot. This is Davy's first time at the ocean. Being very sensitive to noise and new experiences, he was very frightened. But the kids rallied around him and helped calm him down. Where's 
The sun was burning hot and here I am all covered up and I suggested to my husband that he put on sunscreen but he told me not to worry because he was tough. Davey used to be afraid of the water but the kids helped him overcome that while we were in Minneapolis just a few days prior. Davey loved balls and so we decided to throw a beach ball into the pool in hopes that he would want to go in and sure enough his little legs started kicking and he had his dad go in after the ball and before he knew it he was in the pool. And I think even Davey was surprised. In an instant his fear of the pool was gone. I enjoyed four beautiful sunrises. During the day, the pool was packed with sunburned bodies. But as soon as the sun set, people just disappeared. Our kids had the pool all to themselves. I never knew that Florida could reach almost 100 degrees in May. On our second day on the beach, I stopped nagging my husband about sunscreen. This is our last full day at the ocean and no one wants to go out today without dad. And these are Davy's feet. He went out without sunscreen. Wouldn't listen to his wife. And got terrible sunburn on his legs and feet. Look at that. We woke up at 3 a.m. to drive back to Orlando. Unfortunately, you had several mishaps. Because he couldn't walk, we had to take time to find a wheelchair. We went to the wrong ticket counter. We missed her flight. And then we had to wait for a shuttle back to a hotel for another night. And then the hotel put us in a room with a broken air conditioner and it was 95 degrees out. Fortunately, Davey fell asleep also on the flight home. David was very happy that he was going home.